Now, for over four decades, the Conservation Society Sea Shepherd has been pulling out all the stops to protect our marine wildlife. In 2006, our perspective guest co-founded the French arm of the movement, and today Lamia SM Lally is its president, and she joins me now uh, here in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in to talk to us here on France 24. Thank you. Um, now, for those that don't know who are watching, uh, just what are the goals and the modus operandi of Sea Shepherd France? Sea Shepherd is a marine conservation uh, organization that is uh, focused on anti-poaching. So basically we're trying to enforce the law in the ocean, which is uh, uh, the far west, really. Um, people who want to uh, get advantage of marine wildlife can do so uh, pretty much without any control or consequences. Um, so what we try to do is to intervene. Really, we, we, don't, we are not a protest organization. We intervene against illegal activities and we uh, try to bring the spotlights on what is considered as legal but is immoral, like industrial fishing, overfishing. And what is the, just on that point, what is the biggest threat uh, to the future well-being of our oceans in your view? Today it's very clear. I mean, we talk a lot about plastic and it's true that plastic is uh, a, a big threat, but the biggest threat is fishing. We are uh, emptying the ocean. We are killing uh, marine wildlife at a rate that is absolutely not sustainable. Um, the scientists of the United Nations estimate that by 2048 we'll have a global collapse of all fisheries, all fish populations. Basically this means the end of the ocean uh, and it's our end too because we cannot survive on this planet with a dead ocean. So we, we have a, a lot of uh, noise being made around um, um, single-use plastic which is like an abomination but we, we don't talk about the fish that is in our plates. Today people are um, shocked to see Japan or Iceland or Norway harpening whales and, and we should be shocked because this should not exist anymore today. But today, the real threat on dolphins and whales, it, it's not explosive harpoons. It's the nets that go out in the sea to fish the fish that is in our plates. Now many people watching don't live anywhere near an ocean or anywhere near a sea. Um, they might be saying at home watching this interview there are more pressing issues perhaps for them, uh, air pollution or deforestation or wildfires. What do you say to those people watching that think that what's going on in our oceans isn't that important? I will remind them that one breath out of two that they take, they own to marine wildlife wherever they live on this planet. There is no life on earth, there is no life on land, anywhere you are, if the ocean is dead. And the fact that you live far from the ocean is even more pre preoccupying because you, are, you tend to be more disconnected to what maintains you alive. Today, the, the surface that is being uh, bottom trawled in the ocean is 150 times bigger than deforestation. The ocean is the main lung of this planet. This is the number one producer of oxygen and the number one um, uh, taker of uh, uh, carbon dioxide. It, it's, it's simple as that. We are killing the ocean, we are killing ourselves. Now you've launched a, a special campaign, I understand, this Christmas time um, to push people to try and buy less and spend less. Tell us more about that. We are in an over consumption society, right? And in this period of, of the year, unfortunately, this, this goes even more an insane. Um, the consumption of fish uh, explodes, even though through the year we already eat way too, too, too much fish. So we, we try to remind people that uh, maybe the best Christmas gift that we can give to our children, it's a life planet. So let's lower our consumption. And when people ask us uh, what they can do to help the ocean, what, what they can do to help Sea Shepherd in our mission, basically what they can do to help themselves and their kids, um, I would say that it's good. It's good to give up on single-use plastic. It's good to give up on the plastic straw. But the most significant thing you can do is wonder, ask yourself if the fish that's in your plates is vital for you or not. If it's not vital, then leave it in the ocean. There, are, there is a minority of people who actually really depends on fish for survival. And this is not us. This is not the great majority of people who eat fish. Um, now, globally speaking, it's fair to say, I think you'd agree that Sea Shepherd has been somewhat criticised for some of its uh, tactics and its strategy uh, in the past. Uh, what do you say in defence of those tactics? 
I would say that in uh, 42 years of existence, Sea Shepherd has never ever injured anybody, and this is not random. This is because we take care of that, because we put life on top of everything, and we consider that uh, damaging an illegal harpoon or an illegal net that is going to kill an endangered species is not an act of violence. Watching it doing it without doing anything, that could be an act of violence. So it depends on what is your hierarchy. What has more value? Is it the property of poachers and illegal fishermen, or is it life? We, we think life is more important. We have, of course, another UN Climate Change Summit underway uh, in Madrid uh, at the moment. Now, when it comes to environment policy and maritime policy, do you think the issue of the oceans is being put high enough, high enough up the agenda? We are way behind where we should be when it comes to uh, defending the ocean. And I don't expect anything uh, from, from this conference, like all the other uh, the ones before, before that. Um, I think we also um, uh, lie to ourselves. I mean, we have marine protected species on paper, but in the reality, there is no marine protected species. Why? You can find on the fish markets uh, protected species of sharks that are on paper illegal to fish but you find them uh, and, and, and in promotion even sometimes. Why? Because we allow non-selective fishing methods in the grounds, the living grounds of these animals. And then we say that, oh, but there have been bycatch, so let's not waste it. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's eat it. And it's the same reason why we have thousands of dolphins killed each year in France. I mean, we point the finger at Japan or the Faroe Islands, but we kill more dolphins in France. And this is not, uh, a bloodbath. It's not as graphic as it can be in Japan or in the Faroe Islands, but it's it's more. It, and uh, it's because of the fish, of the fishing nets, the fishing vessels that go after the fish that we eat and that just don't discriminate. So we call it bycatch, like accident, accidental capture. It's not accidental because we go there. We know that we are going to catch dolphins and we do it anyway. So they are, they are not protected. OK, uh, uh, Lamia Essemlali from Sea Shepherd France. That's sadly all we have time for. But thank you very much thank you. Uh, for coming in to talk to us. Thank you so much.